Hi there. Today we're making fidget spinners with resin. Now I know I want to make them rainbow, but I'm not sure how to make them rainbow. So we're going to try a couple different techniques and see how it goes. The first technique is going to be using these mica powders. I'm going to try to kind of paint the powders onto the mold so that when we pour the resin, it transfers on. I'll be using these tiny things called micro brushes. Um, they kind of remind me of eyeshadow applicators, but really, really small. So they're perfect for getting in these little spaces and doing detailed stuff. So we're going to start with this red and I'm going to work my way around the outside, trying to make evenly spaced bands, um, hoping that we have enough room to get all the colors in here, but I won't make you watch all of this. So let's just speed through. I'll be right back. And just like that, all of our colors are filled in. I'm just finishing up the purple right here. And I'm realizing part of the spinner is gonna cover some of this color. So I hope I left enough space that it still shows all of them. Here you can see there's some loose powder in here. So we're just gonna tap it out on the desk really quickly. And this is basically what it's gonna look like. So let's hop over to technique number two. And for this one, we're gonna be using resin pigments. Now, I've never tried this technique before, but I have seen it in a couple of videos, so I'm really excited to give it a try today. We're gonna find out together how it goes. We're gonna get started with this J Diction High Viscosity Resin, and I'm gonna use the high viscosity stuff because we're gonna be kind of painting the resin onto the mold, and I want it to stay where I put it, basically. So I'm gonna make six little dots of UV resin right here, and I'm just kind of using this coaster mold as a palette, and we're going to add a drop of each color into this and then I will mix them up and like I said just kind of paint them onto the second mold that we're going to be using today. We're just going to speed through adding these colors really quickly. You can see at the bottom it's kind of bleeding together but I think that I'll be okay because it's the high viscosity stuff. Fingers crossed because I really don't feel like doing this over again. Now I'm just going to use the same micro brushes that we used in the first technique but I'm going to flip them over and use the ends like a little stir stick. And then I'm going to try to use the same thing to paint it on. All right, by the magic of video, we are cleaned up and we are going to start by mixing and applying the red. And I can already tell that this is going to take a really, really long time. So why don't we montage through the rest of this? <music> Okay, well that took forever. I'm really hoping the results will be worth it when we're done. But basically we're, uh, we're ready to pour resin in these and finish them up. All I really have to do is fill these molds with this J Diction Low Viscosity Resin. I'm using low viscosity for this one because I like how easily it spreads out and it has really minimal bubbles, which is nice. We'll still hit these with a uh, lighter after letting them sit for a little bit just to make sure we get all the bubbles. 
but yeah, it should be an easy process from here on out, hopefully, fingers crossed. I can't wait to uh, cure them, demold them, and then assemble the spinners and see if they make a cool rainbow effect when you spin them. I can't thank you enough for hanging out with me today, and if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe so that I know to make more of them, and stay tuned. Okay, here we go. It's time to demold. Here we'll start with the first one. We'll take the mica powder version out, and I think it looks pretty cool. Not much surprise there, but here we go. This one, this labor of love. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so I may have chosen the wrong mold to do something like that with, with all the little pockets, but you know what? Lessons, lessons are for learning. So let's um, assemble this. This didn't really come with instructions, so I'm just kind of guessing that you put this little ball bearing piece in the middle and then clip two of these black pieces together to make the spinner. Overall, I think this kit is pretty fun. Um, it comes with a few different molds and enough pieces to make, I think, 10 different fidget spinners. There are a couple things I would do differently. I think I needed to cure them a little bit longer. Um, there was some warping, which made the little ball bearings not quite fit right. Um, but I think I might need to also use a hammer to get these in. I'm not sure. I tried to brute force it with my hand, as you can see here. I think this one was really warped for some reason, um, so it was a little harder to fit in there. But you know what? I still think they came out pretty neat, and I'm pretty happy with them. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion.